time to get lovey-dovey. Welcome to WatchMojo.com and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 LGBT romances in anime. It doesn't matter to me if we stay this way. I don't care about what I look like. Well, I do care. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at the best gay and lesbian relationships to grace the medium. Keep in mind, we'll only be including pairings that were officially confirmed to be mutual and not one-sided within the show itself. So sorry shippers, don't expect to see Attack on Titan or Madoka Magica anywhere on here. Omura, it's okay. I'm glad I got to become friends with you. Saving you from that witch was the best thing I ever did. Number 10, Shion and Yayoi. Psychopaths. It takes a lot to ruin Yayoi's appetite. Believe me, that girl is into some stuff way more sick and twisted than this. Uh, that's... Yep, these two women are indeed wrapped up in an intimate relationship, one that they certainly aren't shy about expressing, even around the workplace. While it's not given much focus, it does add another dimension to these two polar opposites. While the glamorous and lazy Shion spends her days around the lab, Yayoi is blowing up limbs as a hard-ass enforcer. You'd think they wouldn't be able to gel, but given the horrific state of the world they inhabit, it's comforting to know they found solace in each other. I mean, you could at least call them romantics. You really think that would give them comfort? Would anything? Number 9, Haruka and you, Sakura Trick. <laughs> High school is an awkward time for everyone. Friendships and social circles constantly in flux, needless drama, it can seem like life is too crazy to grab hold of. In order to ensure that their long-lasting friendship remains cemented, you and Haruka agree to employ the art of kissing in secret. <laughs> what starts out as a cute idea soon turns far more serious as the two girls start to discover that they can only lock lips for so long before thoughts of love start to enter the equation. <laughs> Number 8, Toya and Yukito. Card Captor Sakura series. No amount of dubbing is ever gonna take away the fact that these two are totally into each other. Yes, despite being Sakura's crush, it soon becomes obvious that Yukito's affections are reserved only for her brother Toya. And throughout the series, the relationship between these two is not subtle in the least. Best of all, their love transcends all barriers, as each of their incarnations in the Clamp multiverse are inexplicably tied to one another. All we can say is that if these two don't hook up by the time Clear Card is finished, there will be riots. Number 7, Yuzu and Mei, Citrus. While we could have certainly done without the sisterhood element, what's fascinating about this couple is their dynamic. Despite being glammed up and eager to lose her V-card, Yuzu is by far the most innocent one here, especially since a stoic new lover may get her kicks from kissing teachers and then throwing herself at her new sibling. <laughs> We aren't saying there isn't a destructive element to their relationship, but it's still kind of intriguing to see these two try to find some semblance of normalcy together. Number 6, Ryoma and Izumi, Love Stage. You find yourself finally in love, only to reunite with your crush several years later and, surprise, they've been cross-dressing the whole time. Well, maybe not all of us have been through that, but Ryoma certainly has. <laughs> Try as he might, the reveal that his precious Izumi is actually the same gender doesn't change how he feels. What follows is a series of adorable escapades as the two strive to accomplish their dreams with plenty of spicy moments shared along the way. Now that's a Hollywood romance for you. Izumi, 
俺お前のこと好きなんだぞ。Number five, Kusakabe and Sajo. Don't you say? この間は不意のことだったけど、メガネってチューするのも邪魔になったと思う。It doesn't get more wholesome than this. While they could not be more different from one another in terms of personalities and goals, these two lads soon find deep comfort in one another's company, paving the way for more beautiful moments and confessions of love than we know what to do with. Don't expect any gimmicks going into this one, only the pure harmony of two decent young guys finding themselves falling head over heels for each other as they try to figure out their futures. Sajo ga ichiban da. Number four, Utena and Anthe. Revolutionary girl Utena. Miss Utena, that's wonderful. It was okay, I guess. It still needs some work. We can safely say that no one on this list has had to fight harder to protect someone than Utena. And we mean literally fight. After meeting the beautiful Anthe, who is known by some members of the school as the Rose Bride, Utena finds herself dueling against several other students, hoping to free her of the game for her hand. I only lost the duel because I let my guard down. Why don't we settle this once and for all? Who shall possess the Rose Bride? Things only get crazier from there, as dashing and dastardly princes are plenty try to cut their plans to pieces. In the end, however, their relationship evolves into something more intimate, with pretty heavy romantic undertones, especially in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Number three, Shion and Nezumi. Number six. So nanja, koi bito no mai de hadaka ni nare nai. O, oki no oseo da. Just goes to show, even in the midst of a dystopian future filled with death and corruption, love conquers all. After finding evidence of a conspiracy, the formerly high-class citizen Shion finds himself discarded to the slummiest quarters of the city. Along the way, he's saved by a known fugitive going by the name of Nezumi. Kimi ni dei te yokatta. The bond between these two eventually becomes so sweet and genuine that their relationship pretty much overshadows everything else in this series, which is saying a lot given the presence of parasitic wasps that rapidly age people. <laughs> Number two, Sailor Neptune and Sailor Uranus, Sailor Moon series. <laughs> They're not cousins, they never have been, never will be. Screw you, 90s dubbing companies. Now, with that out of the way, we can gush over why these two members of the Sailor Senshi make for quite the power couple. Haruka is aggressive and flirty, while Michiru can come across as rather cold. Yet together, their love is so palpable that they almost take the mantle away from Tuxedo Mask and Sailor Moon at times. When these two are on screen together, the stars light up. Number one, Yuri and Victor. Yuri on ice. <laughs> you know it, we know it, everybody knows it. This couple shook the anime landscape. With minimal fan service and copious amounts of heart, Yuri and his dazzling mentor find themselves not only soaring to the championships, but also falling deeper and deeper in love with each passing episode. Yuri, I have no idea what I'm going to do. I'm going to be a little bit nervous. What are you thinking about? It's hard to discern which is more spellbinding, their relationship or their performances on the ice. Their implied kiss pretty much broke the internet after all. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.